Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to the New England Racing Show. I'm your host, Bill Sturgis. We're on Manchester, New Hampshire, Channel 23, also on YouTube, and like us on Facebook, and you'll get the show automatically on your page. Well, this past Friday night, we're at the Speedway, and uh, we taped the 50-lap hobby stock race. And they call them, they don't call them the unpredictable hobby stocks for nothing. Because this race had everything you can think of in it. Uh, it's just a, a real exciting race. And I think they put on the best show out of all the divisions at the week in and week out. Uh, unfortunately, the lap counter didn't work. It, uh, I guess the scoreboard was struck by lightning and took that out and a few other things at the speedway. So, uh, it's kind of like Bear Ridge last year. You say, how do you know what lap you're on? And they say, well, when he throws the white, that means there's one to go. So, that's where we were. And here's a start. They had a pretty good field, even though they had a pretty a big wreck last week. Took out a few cars because somebody had oiled the track down and they broke an axle. And uh, three or four cars went piling into the turn three wall. But it looks like they got the repairs done. Had a lot of good side-by-side -side racing here. So rather than just uh, concentrating on the leader, we tried to show you it was side-by-side. -side. Billy Clemens is out to a pretty big lead. And uh, 37, Zach Frazier, second place. Kevin Bowman and the uh, seven of Chris Harding right there too. David McDonald was able to restart. I believe they give him a black flag. It's Billy Clemens Jr. Zach Frazier. Chris Harding. The 83 comes around and uh, is Pat Tangway, points leader. And the uh, Lee Pace car, nice Hemi Charger. Should put that thing in a spectator race. Yeah. 
They were ready to restart the race, but I guess David McDonald uh, had some kind of issue. So he parked it on the front straightaway and uh, push truck gets behind him. <laughs> now they're going to tow him out. Took his hood off to uh, hook up to it. Guess that's what they call civil disobedience. You don't like what's going on, you just park your butt on the start finish line and say, Move me. I don't know, he went spinning into the wall. I don't know why they were black flagging him. He probably feels he wasn't justified. Was that the X? I don't know, some of these cars, you, you can't even read the letters. I don't know if that was the 83 or the X car. Sorry, Dale, if it wasn't your car, I don't mean to give you a bad name. Anyway, we're ready to restart. Clemens out to a good lead. Seven, Chris Harding, and 37, Zach Frazier right behind him. Side by side. And the 90 of Brian DeStefano right behind them. Okay, the 83, David McDonald is still out there, so I, I don't know who that car was that got picked up. I think it had an X on the side. And there was somebody going around. It was Paul Payne. And zero.
Through the field there in the white car on the right is a 15 of uh, Dennis Dumas. Third in points. Sort of hung back and uh, waited a little bit. Rather than try to win the race in the first few laps like some people do. And I'll just pick people off one by one as I can without wrecking my car. Which is smart. Clemens in front. Zach Frazier still tailing him. And that's the 83 of uh, David McDonald right behind him. David is fourth in points. Uh, Zach is the 37 is ninth in points. The seven of uh, Chris Harding has fallen back in this race. Like the 37 is having some problems, he's falling back. And 83 and uh, Jeff Rollins in the 82 and Dennis Dumas. Uh, passing the 37. It looks like he's having problems. I don't know if he's got a tire going down or what. Is Clemens still out in front? Um, yep, something must have happened. Looked like he spun on his own. Tough break for him. I mean, Zach was right up there all this time. Billy Jr., McDonald, <laughs> Jeff Rollins with uh, some donuts on the side, and Dennis Dumas, top four. I think we're around lap 25 now. I don't know if they had lap money for this race, but if they did, Clemens is cleaning up. I remember in the uh, Bowling Bash Open Modified show, they had quite a bit of lap money. And Keith Rocco just took off in the beginning and collected $3,000 in lap money before he faded out. He used his tires and keep running. Well, 
we're closing in on Clemens a little bit. Dennis Dumas making a pass on uh, David McDonald. David's hanging in here though. It's pretty hard to hang on the outside. He always finds his way up the other point. Well, looks like Dennis Dumas is the one that's going to try to hunt down Billy Clemens now. Looks like they're pretty even. But uh, Dennis is slightly gaining. And uh, Paul Palin goes around for the second time here. I don't know if he had help or what. Here's a restart. Ten cars left. Clemens and Dumas in the front row. McDonald and Rollins in the second row. And Tang would hang in there. takes over third. You know, people say, oh, they're just going around in circles. But I mean, we watch this race, and it's like watching a chess match in a way. Billy Clemens trying to hold him off and Dennis Dumas is trying to find a way to get around him. Almost got next to him on the inside. But Clemens had enough to hold him off. So they won two, three. Clemens, Dumas, and Rollins. A little bit ways back is McDonald and Tangler. But not too far back. Probably about three, four car lengths behind Rollins. This is just a good three-way battle for first here. I mean, they're watching this. And I don't know if... These guys know how many laps are left because there's no counter. But uh, if you don't know, well, you can't waste time. You gotta keep an eye on the flagman. He'll give you 10 to go, holding out both hands. Dennis trying to get on the inside. Can't quite do it. Clemens holds him off. Clemens seems to have a lot of power to do in the straightaway. You think somebody's going to get under him and he just at the end of the straightaway he just outpowers him and holds him off.
I found this battle just, just captivating, just watching these three. Rawlings is, <laughs> he can't do too much right now. He's trying to sit there waiting. I think they just gave Tim to go. Five to go. Okay, Dennis is on the inside now. Oh. <laughs> they lock together. Rollins takes over. There's McDonald trying to get by on the outside. He can't quite do it. So now it's Rollins. Dennis Dumas, Billy Clemens, McDonald, and Tangway. Tangway's taken over fourth. I think there's three to go now. Rollins, the opportunist. Didn't really have much he could do except sit back and wait and see, hope that these two would uh, and they did. Two to go. Rollins has about a four car length lead on the other two. Checker. So here we are in Victory Lane, and Joe Bassett there with a the microphone says, we're still trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. Did the 82 register? You're supposed to register at the pit shack before the race, and if you don't, you get DQ'd. There's uh, Billy Clemens with the trophy and his <laughs> pretty large following. Uh, Pat Tangway. No one knows if Jeff Rollins won this race, if he registered. Uh, another question was, do he turn in a tire slip uh, before the race, before the driver's meeting? To make sure that. We have a verdict. As soon as Paul verifies he's tired enough, we can move on from there. Okay, now they're going to. The car has been registered. It's a matter of whether the tire slip numbers match up. Now they got to see if the tire slips match up. They determined that he did register. If the tire slips match up, it's automatic, he wins. There's uh, Mr. York, who's in charge of the tires. Right there with the headphones on. Do the tires match up or don't they? Well, come here, we're going to talk about it. Is like the voice they match up or they don't match up? We run a small block super. One time our tires didn't match up because PJ had put on a, uh, another tire by mistake and it was an automatic DQ. Okay. I cut out the 10 minutes or so of uh, them having a conference on the infield so if the tires matched up 
I don't know why they had to have a 10 minute conference on the infield. Get that flag, Joe. One of the other yes. competitors Stay said there. that they didn't okay, match up. So, uh, no explanation was given. Oh, Jeff you. Rollins is the winner. The flag looks better on this guy. Dennis Dumas is second. Oh, Haley Clemens Jr. is third. Pat Tangway, there's his dad right there, is fourth. So they're interviewing Billy now. Third place. Good job, Billy Clemens. Hung in there. Almost the whole race. Dennis Dumas. Yeah, I said uh, going into this week is a top three would be good. Uh, that red class would be really hurt this thing. Uh, I can't thank uh, my crew. That's Albie, Dick, Al, Chris. Uh, every night, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, get this thing ready. Um, I can't thank my sponsors enough for Iron, Metal Recycling, uh, Davis Race Cars, Components, American Used Auto, ProFab, um, MLM Diagnostic Service. Uh, Bricker Auto, Mommy Electrical, uh, Ninja Designs, uh, Epic House of Pizza, Red and Judy for uh, keeping this place going. It's a fun class, fun track to race on, and uh, we'll try next week. Oh, and I gotta thank my wife, because I mean, oh. I'm out until like midnight, one o'clock, we're on this thing. I don't get home until two o'clock sometimes later, and she's with the kids all day, so that, that right there is a handful. I gotta thank her too. There you go. Great job. He remember to thank his wife, otherwise he wouldn't be racing anymore. <laughs> and our winner, after long debate. And the winner, Jeff Rollins. First of all, Jeffrey, you gotta tell me who this car was a week ago. This car was also our first passion with the car calling. I mean, I think that's why he skipped the first 20 laps and probably had some cobwebs and there was something that. You got to get today in a clutch split. We uh, worked on it all day. I can't get a clutch in one of these stock cars. Uh, again, I got a wholesale for the race. He gave me a race car. Uh, it was an awesome race. There you go. You're ready tonight, Jeffrey Rollins. You have to thank our and our wholesalers. And the flag, Jeff. And that choice is David's race car. from the end of the race. And back up to you, John. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, that was it. The Unpredictable Hobby Stocks uh, just put on a great show. I really enjoyed that. Well, uh, this coming week at Star Speedway on Saturday night, August 23rd, they're going to have a celebrity race in using the NEMA light cars. Uh, they're going to have John McKennedy, Mike Ordway Sr., Chris Purley, Matt Swanson, Avery Store and Russ Store are in there. And uh, we tried to get Russ Wood, but Mrs. Wood said, uh, no way. Russ has uh, broke his leg in the Isma race last year, and now his life is work, come home, walk the dogs, and go to bed. So that's Russ Wood's life from now on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, make sure you go to Star Speedway Saturday night to see the uh, the NEMA, NEMA Lights, and uh, the Celebrity Race. So we'll be there, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining.